Hey, howdy, hello, and welcome back to some more Dust and Elysian Tale. When we last left off, we finally learned the truth about the two souls about Dust here, and we found out that he is Ginger's sister, as as well as one of General Gaius's, I think his name was, um, like best assassin named Cassius. And somehow the lizard people, the Moonbloods, made this one creature from... Knocked my, almost knocked my shit over. Um, made this one creature from the two souls, one a pure of heart, and one really powerful. And that's the gist of... And his name originates from, like, born of dust. Kind of, I guess, kind of like a phoenix. That's what I took from that. And he was created to kind of save the people, uh, like the moon bloods, the lizard people, uh, from extinction. Kind of. That's what I got from it. I need to rewatch that scene a couple more times to kind of really get the gist of it. But that's that's the gist of it, okay? And now we're going to go fight the people. And we're about to go down to uh, the volcano, Blowy Up Mountain. I knew it. I knew there was a scene. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. All right. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your But our mind is not broken. All right. While we're on this map screen, let me let me explain something that happened yesterday and why this why, well, not yesterday, but a couple days ago when I made that original video. Exactly how the fuck I did that. I said in the uh, video part eleven, uh, part twelve, part one, because this is part two. All right. This is like part two. This is the real part twelve, basically. That was like a prologue kind of thing. I had accidentally deleted it. And how that works is how the Elgato software works. If you use the Elgato software, you know that what it does is it makes a folder called Elgato Capture Software where you save it. That is where it makes the original um, uh, like file for it. And then when you export it, it exports it to, it makes it a final video. I, I don't know how to really explain it. But it makes two copies. Kind of makes two copies. The one that the Elgato software holds for you. And then one you export for editing. I deleted. Because I kept them in like the same folder. So. So when I, I tried to like mass delete a bunch of stuff. So I can kind of label it a little bit. I was going to delete. I had already exported the videos. And I was going to label them. Because I had a lot of clips. In that video. And I deleted everything. And it sucks, but I, I, I did it like that. And I, I'm sorry for that. Because my commentary wasn't really that good towards the end. I kind of just did a lot of uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, and you know, stuff like that. So you didn't really miss much as far as my commentary. You didn't really miss much as far as exploration. Just me fighting through demons as usual. So let's just keep going. Now we're going down to Everdon Bastion. Bastin, 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 that, the volcano place. Legends, I think there's one more chapter after this, but I'm not 100% sure. Dun, 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 moon blood camp, moon blood camp, moon blood camp, okay. Oh, I'll stop. Halt! Moon Ghost! Oh, it's you! Apologies, Miss Robin. Please, enter. 
My dude, just call me Dust, bro. <laughs> Boing. Up. 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 Uh, uh, I missed. Up. 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 Wait, war? We're going to war? I don't know about that. This is all I have left. Are you are we safe here? No. <laughs> is this all you have left? Are you safe here? What is the way of the flame flameless light? Oh yeah, I forgot they said something about that. Apparently that's like magic without magic. Let's ask this one first. I wanna know that. Society called the Sintok. Sintok. The knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in, Dust. This could take a while. We Sintok harnessed a power unlike any this world has ever seen. Oops. We built elaborate contraptions <laughs> like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness with a darkness. spark. Well, obviously something went wrong because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost, perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believed the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seem to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sinduk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we're supposed to fight these things with your lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. So generous guy is just out here got planes? Yeah, and you were wrong. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. Damn. How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sarath. Aha! I knew that creepy oh. creature was one of you guys. How did a moon blood operate so freely in the wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sarath was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius Damn it. is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. Okay. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most moon bloods from this land. We Damn. are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Can you guys stop calling me dust? I mean, start calling me dust. Stop calling me Sen Mithrarin. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We'll spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He has not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. 
All right, bro. Nidrarin, do you need anything else? No. Thank you, Elder. Yeah. So what are we doing? I was not listening. Ginger, hey, right? what's up, sis? Ginger? Gin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. Aww. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. I can be okay, so I can be nice or be a dick. Let's be nice. Aurora was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin. Yeah. He's kind of hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? <laughs> oh. Or at least he was. He still is. I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? His presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin, Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path, to leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Hmm. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Okay. All right. Well, there's that. Right, let's just keep going this way. Do I wait? I gotta, I gotta know. I gotta ask myself here. Do I still got those fucking sheep with me? Yep, <laughs> I still got those fucking sheep. Uh, the sheep are along for the ride too. I'ma do what's good. Ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer i suppose the term is the elder mentioned you needed some help yes indeed in the caverns below we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water unfortunately seismic activity has shut down both systems so we need to get them running once more i have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations so if you could i would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators sure sanjin i'll take a look thank you You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, I didn't see that coming. Okay, so I know fire's not gonna do shit, so we're gonna need that wind. Ow. Wait. Oh, oh! What the? No! 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 no. It doesn't really matter. I'm kind of unkillable.
You know, I love watching the AI do this stupid shit. Well, this is the water pump. Huh, I wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? I don't know. However, could we do that? Down, down, and now we can go this way. Right in, okay, I thought it was right to death. Did it go back into the... Eh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait, wait just a goddamn minute. Alright. Stay on, stay on the edge. Then jump to this one. Stay on the edge. Alright, stay, stay on the edge. Stay, stay on the oh my god they, they want me fucking dead stay on the edge now jump to this one right. I know how to do this what's this what's this fuck alright wait alright stay on the very edge jump okay no This game is this game plays too damn much. Oh, you a fucking asshole. Alright, there we go. Well, there's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Okay. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? Uh, Fizzy, I think you're getting used. I mean, you know, in like in a good way. How do I do that? <laughs> where the fuck? Where do I go? Yeah. All right, so just like go down. Oh my! Oh my god! Let's teleport. Run, my friends, run! You can't catch me, haha. -ha. Okay, I'll shut up. Do -do 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 -do. All right, all right, you son of a bitch. Excellent work, Miss Rarin. Now that the power and water still with this Miss Rarin shit, we can hold our ground against Guy's soldiers. You have saved many lives this day. Really? In the fucking water. Or 
right, let's go. Let's go save some more people. Um, you hear something? No. That's just lava pluing. Wait. Oh, that's just background. Oh no! Just look. It's the missing sentry. What happened here? Ah! Just look out! What? 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 Ow! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The fuck is that? I see it. Oh my god, that is the best invisibility I have ever seen. I have not. Shut the fuck. Is he dead? Oh fuck no, he ain't dead. Knock, I'm gonna knock you. Knock your, blue. Knock your ass in the fucking. Wait, hold on. Let me open this chest. All right, I'll let you open the chest. Do you use it? Uh, does, do you use any of that shit? No. <laughs> no. What? Why? Why not? Why don't you use any of that stuff? Because this fucking this fucker's over here playing it on easy. Do I? Do I not have a yellow one? Fuck no. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. I will fight the fuck out of you, dude. Don't you just love it when you knock the fucking soul out of somebody? Oh, there's fucking more now. We don't need to worry about it. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, do I tell you? Excellent. Okay. Oh my god, dude. I'm afraid I have bad news. We found Kier, but he was ambushed by guys as soldiers. We didn't stand a chance. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once again. Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. It sounds like Sonjin was able to get the pumps and generators working again. No doubt thanks to your help. With power and water flowing through our camp, we are too damn modest. We'll be better equipped to handle our enemies in battle and properly tend to our wounded. Thank you, Dust. I believe we are as prepared as we possibly could be. With the enemy at our gates, we have no choice but to begin our assault. Our warriors are gathering at the edge of the camp, waiting for you to lead them. Take this yellow resonance gem dust. Use it to open the gate. Thank you, Elder, for everything. Whatever happens, Sen Mithrarin, know that I am honored to have stood before you. The Moonbloods will follow you unto death. Now go, and dust. Good luck. Yeah, we're gonna do that next time. Yeah, we're gonna do that next time. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I guess favorite it if people still do that. Uh, you know, and if it's your birthday today, happy freaking birthday, and I'm.